um, I I was enjoyed a lot this time because the audience was helping me, and uh, I I don't have a big mistake. <laughs> it was very good. Um, I think if I uh, look at the beginning, the season as a, as a, in general, I would think this whole season has been uh, quite a challenge. But um, today is the silver medal, but I think it's more of a gold medal for um, the effort that I put in this season. And uh, you know, coming from the injury and having a bad Skate Canada performance and a disappointing Olympic performance as well, I uh, really was really happy with the way I performed here and uh, how I kept it together. Uh, to the end, to the long program, and you know, it's just overall, it's just I was able to go out there and enjoy, it and uh, instead of being nervous and being worried of missing jumps, I just went out and uh, really enjoyed each jump and each element of the program. Excuse me. Okay. Wait for Brian. He's coming. Good turn. I guess you can really be happy of the result tonight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to say uh, something about... Yes. <laughs> if you want. Yeah. So um, I'm very happy about the, this competition in general, about the practices, about the short program, the free program. Um, I did some mistakes in the free, but because I was a little bit tired, but I'm very happy because I did two quads and uh, I was confident so um, it was the main goal for me and uh, I, uh, I win a medal so it's great. Thank you. The floor is open. Mike from in the back. Question for Dysica. Please, there was an intense pressure on you after Lysacek and Kushenko pulled out. How did you handle the pressure, especially from the media, the federation, everything? So, today,あの、なぜかあまりプレッシャーとかそういうのがなくて、逆にあの、あの、ま、ステファンだったり、あの、エヴァンだったり、みんな、みんなが来なかったのがちょっと寂しいぐらいで。本当に今回はプレッシャーが全くなく、あの自分自身あの普段の練習から、ま、4回転フィリップをちょっと取り入れてみようっていうそういうチャレンジ精神の方を聞いてて、本当に楽しくすることができました。Um, let me respond in Japanese, but actually I don't know the reason why, but somehow I didn't feel pressure in this competition. On the other hand, I even missed Stefan and Eva. They're not here, so I missed their cousins. And um, I was practicing my quad flip as well, so it was more of a challenge-based competition for me, and I really enjoyed that challenge. Thank you. Other question? Wonderful. Daisuke okay again. Uh, you win in Italy. You're the first gold medalist for Japan at World Championship with an Italian music to which everyone can relate. Uh, and still you're Japanese. How did you get into that mood? Mm ま、今回のあの、ロンプログラムはあの、イタリアの映画でま、パスコアリカメレンゴのイタリアのイタリア人のあのフリスケの方がしてくれたので、ま、この映画、ま、彼自身もこの映画の雰囲気を出すというま、
can say that, of course, um, the Japanese fans are a lot in the audience, so they really helped as well. But for the free program, you're right, it is an Italian movie motif, Estrada and uh, Camarengo. And of course, the choreography, we emphasize more to express the music rather than the image and the atmosphere of the movie. So we emphasize more the music. And I think we were able to do that very well. And um, that's the kind of instruction I had. And of course, uh, it was a role model for me to make sure that I convey the right expressions of this music and program, and I was able to do that. There are two questions here. Question for Brian. Uh, people focus on your negatives, but you just made your fifth medal in a row at the Worlds. Are you proud of that consistency, or would you trade them off for one Olympic medal? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very, uh, very proud because it was so difficult after the, the Olympic Games. And um, I didn't know uh, if I was still able to compete uh, like it, it was before. But uh, now I have my answer. So I'm, I know uh, I can fight again. I'm 25 years old. I'm still uh, young. And um, I will go step, step by step for the future. Uh, we will see the Grand Prix and after we will see the, the European Championship and the World. And uh, for Sochi, uh, I don't think about it for the moment. Um, but it's my 15th medal with the European and World, so that's great. Question? In front here. Um, Brian, um, do you consider yourself still a little asshole yeah, as you did, as you did uh, after the Olympics? Est-ce que tu penses que tu es toujours un petit con comme tu avais dit aux Jeux Olympiques? I answer in English. So, after the Olympic Games, I had to change something. Uh, I tried to do it, and I think uh, I did it, and that's why I did a good performance this week. I really want to to come back like I was before, nice guy, relax, and it was not like this the two last season, and that's why uh, I did so many mistakes during the competition, especially for the Olympic Games. So if I want to be the best in in the practice and in the competition, I have to, to be like I was before. And uh, I improved a lot in the figure skating, but I can still improve. Other question? Back over there. This question is for Brian. Brian, do you know of any changes that you would make going forward in uh, your training or anything like that? Um, so I, I will. St I live in a very small town, so it's very. I I need it, but the the condition for the practice are very very difficult. But I will stay in my town. But I think I will, I will go uh, maybe in a other country just to learn. I don't know with who. I have to, to see it with my coach, with my uh, president, and um, we will talk about it after world. And um, I just I will keep uh, how do you say. Um, the new judging system, for example, is not for the quad jump. But I will, st I will still uh, skate like this, because um, I like to skate with the quad jump. Maybe the new judging system will change the next season, we will see. But um, I will work a lot. Thank you. Here in front. Here. This is a question to Patrick. Um, even though we had an Olympic champion without the quad, 
um, Daisuke is talking about adding quad in the short program next season and Brian performed quad in both short and free here. Uh, what's your plan on regarding the quad? Are you planning to put it in your program next season? Um, I think I'm going to take it uh, one step at a time. I think if I right away, if I go in and do two quads in the short and long, it's maybe a bit overwhelming and uh, mentally and physically. So uh, I I think I'll put in the free program first uh, and, and then probably see how the season goes. And it'll, maybe it'll be the next season after I'll put it in the short program. Uh, but you never know, you know, special things happen and during the off season and I might, you know, find the magic touch for the quad and uh, really, really be comfortable with it. Um, so I'm really comfortable with putting it in, in any program uh, on the Grand Prix circuit because uh, Grand Prix look quite small compared to the Olympics. So I think uh, and the World Championship, so a Grand Prix uh, circuit would be a good time to try it out. 